Um, so uh, this is kind of thought for the day in prayer. I mean, it's uh, it's Valentine's Day, and but it's also the start of Lent, and Lent is in the word Valentine. If you figure it out. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, and, and Lent is uh, kind of a time where we, we remember and model kind of uh, the 40 days uh, in the desert of Jesus. And, uh, and my favorite Lenten story was uh, sitting in that office there, and Michelle, a homegirl, came to see me, and, and she said, well, it's official. I found out my man's been cheating on me. And I said, oh my God, I'm sorry. She said, oh, I don't sweat it. I just went to church, got me them ashes. <laughs> gave his ass up for Lent. <laughs> uh, so now that I have your attention, uh, so we, we always at uh, on Ash Wednesday we offer ashes, and uh, and you're free to take them and you're free not to. Uh, Father Mark and Father Frank and uh, Mary Ellen will help us uh, give out ashes. So, uh, in the old days, they used to say, uh, remember you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. And it was about, you know, the fact that everybody's going to die. And, yeah, um, nobody gets out of this alive. And, and, and I remember there was a woman who I love so much, uh, Rita Chaitis, who was a big community uh, organizer in the parish, and... Uh, and I did her funeral, and the night before I did her funeral, I had this dream where she appeared to me, and she said, all of us are born, and all of us will die, and all we have left is the tender time in between. And, and that is what we have, is the tender time in between. Another thing that they'll say when they give ashes is uh, repent and believe in the good news. And repent just means move beyond the mind you have. And the good news, of course, is about love. So uh, those who will be distributing ashes will be saying to you, let love live through you. And it's the same thing as repent, moving beyond, beyond the mind you have and living the good news. Let love live through you. A homie said to me the other day, he said, you know, people all my life were saying, let God into your heart. Let God into your heart. And then I discovered that God wanted me to live in God's heart. And then his eye, he got choked up a little, and he says, and I've been living there ever since. All we have left is the tender time in between. And so we choose to acknowledge our true selves, which is um, loving, being loving. That's who we are. That's who we're meant to be. Repent doesn't mean stop being a bad person and would you hurry up and become a good person. You're already unshakably good. That's the truth of who you are. But we want to let love live through us. And that's what Homeboy stands for in this city. And that's what each one of you in, your, in the courage of your own tenderness stand for as well. So let us uh, bow our heads and uh, pray. Loving and faithful God, we praise you and we thank you because uh, you want us to be in the world who you are, compassionate, loving, and kind. You hope that love will live through us, and so that's a choice that we make every day. Because all we have, really, is just the tender time in between, and so help us to choose tenderness. Help us to know that cherishing is love fully engaged, that cherishing is tenderness in action, that cherishing is love with its sleeves rolled up. Help us to be in the world who you are. And we make this prayer in your name. Amen.